Spicy Toast Gaming here, and thank you for tuning in to another video. Today we're checking out Varus with the new Hymn of Valor. So when I'm summoned, create a redoubled Valor in hand, it costs three. This was changed in this most recent patch. So redoubled Valor, normally it is this six cost slow, fully heal an ally, then double its power and stats. But now it's only down to three costs, which is pretty nice. We're trying that out with a Scourge of Stash, going for an interesting Varus build, trying to get him out early and then play that redoubled Valor as soon as possible. This works quite well with Varus because his star power, when you target an ally with a single target spell, copy it on your strongest ally. So you're trying to get Varus to be your strongest ally, cast Redoubled Valor on him, goes off twice, and then you have a very, very strong Varus. All right, let's hop in game and see how this new relic performs. All right, as per usual, we skipped the first couple battles just so that this run isn't uh, too long. We have gotten a bit lucky. We got slow but steady. When you play a slow spell, copy it onto the same targets. The Redoubled Valor is a slow spell, so now instead of playing it twice, it now goes off three times. Pretty nice. And then we just got Battlefield Training. I don't think we've really gotten anything too crazy for our Varus. Yeah, we got Farsight, so we always draw him at the start of the game, so that's decent. Our support champion is Seraphine. All right, we have Poppy with Duplicate, Misfortune with Level Up, and then Aurelian Soul with Unyielding. Let's see how we do. Huh? Sure, let's go with this. So we're playing our Mountain Goat first, so we can take the benefit of our momentous choice. I'll actually wait and see what they do. I didn't want to block, apparently. I think we'll try to see if we get lucky with the doubling dice. We'll try to take care of some of their threats. See if we can get some free copies. And we do not get lucky, sad. So our Varus is almost leveled. We'll use our Mystic Shot to get the Plunder effect off here. So we're going to try to attack and hope that we can buff up Varus, Varus enough that he can kill Poppy. Um, I think we probably should have enough damage. If not, we do have another Varus. Sure you wanna do this? Huh, I thought that they would... Uh, thought they would buff up or try to block with Poppy. Alright, we'll use Mystic Shot to get rid of one of their units, or another one. So, round start, they get 1-1 one, one for each of their other allies. So, the more allies they have on the board, the bigger this buff is going to be. So, we want to kill as many of their units as possible. So I could buff up our Varus to crazy levels, but they would still be able to deal a massive amount of damage. So we're going to go with Remembrance here. It's going to go off twice, so we're going to have at least two units that can block.
underestimate me. I can take it. Don't underestimate me. That's a no happy turn of fate that we happened to <laughs> draw a card that gave us a uh, barrier. So we're still going to take a good amount of damage here, but as long as we survive this, we should be able to end the game next turn. So there's the triple remembrance, or uh, triple we doubled valor. They have one spell I'm worried about. Please don't be that spell. Yep, there it is. So a little unfortunate there. I don't say this often, but don't be a hero. As the one issue with our build, even though it is very strong, can end the game fairly quickly. If they're able to CC our Varus, we're gonna have a rough time. Don't stand against us. I'll show you. Oof, that's a lot of damage. But this is a boss fight, so as long as we win here, then we should be able to fully heal up. So we're just going to open attack next turn. I don't think they have any fast CC, so we should be able to end the game without an issue. A little rough there, but still not bad. Elusive, very, very strong, but with our Overwhelm, it's not really going to matter, as well as all of our crazy amount of stats. It's more important that we grab the Spell Shield so that what happened last turn doesn't happen again. Granted, it did go through twice, so it would have gone through Spell Shield, but in general, uh, Spell Shield is actually going to be the better option for us here. None of these really work too well with us. So stabilize, it's not bad, uh, especially since then we'll get two redoubled Valors, but I think the round start rally is going to have a stronger effect and let us end the game a lot faster. So I think this one will actually work better for us. All right, champion item chest, we wanna go there and we'll have to just try to go where? through Ash. All right, I'll re -roll both of these because of the far sight. We'll actually hold on to the defector this time. Defector works quite well in this build because it'll grow up to Varus' stats, so when Varus has over 100 power, the Defector will also get that. So it's a bit unfortunate. I would want to be able to play Varus, but if we don't play him on the same turn, we use the redoubled Valor, he's gonna get frostbitten, which is going to be a pain. I think I'm still going to go with it, and we might just use double Momentous Choice to buff him up right before we use the 
We double Valor. Bloodshed is the only way, isn't it? You can see the Devastian border from here. There's a price to pay. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Alright, so we'll start off with the Remembrance. We want to have five mana so we can use double Momentous Choice to buff up Ferris and then use the redoubled Valor on him. We'll go with Moon Glow so we have another Spell Shield for Varus. Ash always can be a pain. Uh, we'll go here. We won't, don't want them to get another draw. The good thing is the cavalry is going to have higher stats than Varus, and so he's going to be the one that's frostbitten next turn. Alright, so... This is going to be a bit risky. Hopefully, they don't have um, multiple frostbites. Because if they do, all of our bonus stats are going to get wasted, essentially. But we're going to try. I am more than this. We are more. I probably should have used one of these momentous choice to actually buff up his health. So that's going to get rid of the spell shield, but... So right here, if I waited, they could crystal arrow us. So... <laughs> need to be sure that we end the game right here. Alright, thank goodness. I think we'll go with Crowd Pleaser here, since this will get doubled up from our star powers. Yeah, we'll get the champion item chest. Gonna try to use a reroll to get a stat item here. We're already struggling with having too much draw, so I'm gonna go with Barrier. Give us a bit more protection for our Varus, not bad. Alright, we'll hold on to the Gift Givers. Yeah, I think I'll just uh, pass for now. You'll fight or you'll swim. Be brave. Remember my. So we'll attack here. See if they uh, decide to block. They'll probably just block with one of their more useless uh, units. I think I'll actually I'll go I'll go with the, the raider. You spurn my gift. A fight. They say these were from the protector himself. Alright, so the overwhelm here was important so that we could attack like this. Always good to clear the board so it's not stacking up with power overwhelming.
The Winter's Claw. All right, so we got our Varus on the board. Next turn, we'll play our Redoubled Valor and then uh, end the game. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me. So I'm actually going to use Redoubled Valor here. It might also give it to the Ruthless Raider, but to be honest, I don't really mind. They still want to uh, still want to attack into that. I think I'll just use a Mystic Shot here just to reduce the damage to our Nexus. All right, GG. It definitely is nice not having to stack up six mana for the Redoubled Valor. Being able to play that for three does feel pretty nice. It's not as crazy of a change as they did, for example, Guardian Angel, but I think it's definitely a well-needed buff. It really makes a Relic feel a lot better. There's a lot more champions you could use it on. So we release it with Power Overwhelming and Karma with Duplicate. I think we'll just go for the shop. I'd rather deal with Lee Sin than Duplicate Karma. Your win. All right, we will re-roll all of these. They all have Farsight on them, so don't need to have all those in our hand. The winter's claw strikes. The spirit gives to those who listen. Leave nothing standing. Your lesson begins. So not really too much happening, just getting that a little bit lower. Open attack again, they'll probably block with Lee Sin. We'll then be able to use Crowd Pleaser, and that should kill him. Act free of nice to get the Lee Sin off the board right away. Alright, so they will be able to. Uh, kill us here because they can buff up to six damage so that will be enough although <laughs> i guess we could just use momentous choice here we'll see so i think we won't bother we could save our unit but with that two mana we could also just play our varus and get ready to win next turn So we'll use this first just to give us a little bit of extra stats. And now for the triple redoubled valor. Beware those who have nothing to lose. Very nice. I figured they'd have a Steel Tempest, but they don't have enough mana to do two of them. So that Spell Shield really coming in clutch. I guess we'll go with Gift Giver. Assembly Bot, not bad, but for that cost point, we're trying to get Varus on the board, so we don't really want another unit that's competing for that same slot. We're really trying to focus on our early game. 
isn't really that big of an issue since Varus already has Overwhelm. Yeah, I'll just, I'll, I think I'll hold off. Alright, we'll get rid of the Free Colossus, it's just too expensive. Sure you can handle me. Alright, Reroll, Varus, and a Mountain Goat. We'll be fine with the other ones. Here, we'll just use this to save our one unit. We want to be able to open attack next turn to get Varus on the board. Here, I'll just use a gem, both to level up Varus, but also make this attack a bit better. We still have the two mana to play Varus after we get our plunder effect. Pretty lucky that we got our Momentous Choice, that'll help us buff up our Varus. Also the fact that we got our... Beware those who have nothing to lose! We got our Fixer Upper to also land on Varus to give him even more stats. Yeah, this is what the build is trying to do. Trying to get Varus on the board with all the redoubled Valors at four mana and ending the game. Fresh out of mercy. I know what we are. You spurn my gift. Mwah. So I don't think they should have any CC to be able to stop us here. We don't want to use our reroll here. Giant Spell, not bad, but normally we have more than enough health. Yeah, I think we'll actually go with that. Just so that we, if we have to block or something, we still have a little bit of extra health to get buffed up. I'll actually go with Chrono Break because with Varus and his star power, so reduce the cost of a spell in the deck and create a exact fleeting copy of it. So we're potentially gonna get some of these ones in our deck to be the fleeting copy that were made in a round. Could be pretty strong. Ready for trouble. Right, let's get rid of a couple of our cards. The winter's claw strikes. So yeah, a little unfortunate. It'd be nice to be able to attack you and try to kill her, but it's not the case. Also, the fact that she has spell shield does not help. Here we'll just attack and see what they do. Might as well get our Varus on the board. Alright, nice. So we'll be able to attack next turn and uh, end the game. Try to get Varus buffed up a little bit. I am more than this. We are more. The winter's clock. All right, GG.
Everyone, please. Ooh, this will be very good, getting double dice on Momentous Choice. Potentially, if every one of these casts, they all have the chance to trigger this. So this could be very, very good. Sure, that's not bad, especially since we have Rally, so we're going to get at least one every turn. So we know we're going to draw Varus at the start of the turn, and then we know we're going to get the Redoubled Valor since he creates it. So I'm actually going to buy some... Uh, spells here. I was thinking about getting shared spoils, but honestly, I'm trying to get spells that are going to get doubled because of our star power. But they have to be single target spells, and shared spoils isn't actually going to get us that. So I'm going to try to go for a reroll here. That's actually pretty good. Right, this would be decent. Sure, let's grab this. We have so many far sights that we don't really have to be worried about not drawing specific cards in the beginning. That's why it's not as big of a deal for um, buying some other spells. This one is kind of funny, but I think I'd rather not. Right, so we have Nautilus with level up, Lulu with duplicate, and then Unyielding Aurelian Soul. They will know my name. All right, we'll get rid of the Defector, Remembrance, and Inspired Plans. So, great thing about the sapling, we can just attack. And now we can immediately play Varus on our first turn. Cold and unforgiving as moonlight. So we'll potentially be able to end the game uh, next turn, maybe? Probably not, we'll probably need a little bit more mana because we need to actually get him leveled up. Uh, but. Yeah, not bad. As I live, all will die. Alright, let's see. So yeah, all the stats will end up on him. It will be less, but honestly, I think we need it to be able to uh, block the Renekton. Granted, they might just uh, sapling us out of the way, but no, oh, they didn't. There is All right. No forgiveness. I guess we'll go like this just to take a little bit less damage. Actually, what we could have done, we could have taken the hit and then attacked right here, used the sapling to drag her to the side, and we could have won. <laughs> uh, didn't think about that until after we blocked. Oh well. Not a big deal, we'll be able to win next turn. So we'll drag it to the side anyways, but we also have Overwhelm, so even if they blocked, not a big deal. Also, we have a lot of other ways to push a bunch of damage if they try to do something. Alright, nice. Putting the Ruthless Raider, the Studded Leather, that's not too bad. Having to take a heart could be fun. Well, this isn't the 
All right, so they also have the attack token, so we don't want to attack because we don't want our unit to die and then have them both be able to uh, attack and hit our Nexus. So we'll play the Ruthless Raider just so we have another blocker here. The Winter's Claw strikes. I'll take everything. Here we'll do something a little cheesy. We'll just attack with our squirrel. They will block with one of their Lulus and then we'll buff it up to the point where it kills it. Unfortunately, haven't been able to get our Varus on the board. Those swirl squirrels aren't uh, aren't looking too great. All right, I think we'll just play our Varus here. I will surpass these mortal constraints. So we buff this unit so we can kill at least Lulu. We actually won't attack with Varus, because if we attack with Varus, they're just going to block with one of their caretaker units, so we're not actually going to do anything. So having a barrier unit might keep them from blocking, hopefully. But yeah, we at least want to get Lulu off the board. Alright, bit unfortunate. So hopefully we'll just be able to end the turn this game. Or End the game this turn, goodness. I knew I know they do have some CC though, so this is gonna be a little risky. Just trying to make sure he's leveled and has a little bit more uh, stats. So they only have three mana and we still have our spell shield, so I think we should be good. Perfect. Um, I guess we'll actually go with Shield Vault since it's slow, it's going to go off another time. And then since we're targeting, well, yeah, it won't technically go off three times because it's not just a single target spell. But being able to stun or at least pop a spell shield uh, would be pretty decent. So let's see how we can do against Aurelian Soul. I could honestly see this going either way. Our combo might work. We might be able to get Varus on the board all powered up and end the game. Or we might just get absolutely dominated. All right, we'll actually get rid of some of these. Having uh, Take Heart in our deck isn't bad because then that increases the chance that it's going to be uh, the fleeting copy that's generated each round.
So I think since this is a ephemeral unit, there's a decent chance they won't block. Now they, they very well might because this unit is stronger, but I'm just trying to see if there's any way we can play Varus this turn. So we'll, we'll go for it. Okay, not that surprising, but let's at least, well, I guess we'll use this just to make sure we kill it. All right, we'll play the snapper this turn. That way we have two cards that can open attack. So one of them should be able to get through. I'm actually going to try to play Momentous Choice here. If we can get a couple doubled copies of it, then we might be able to kill Lee Sin. It'd be great to get their champions off the board. We'll just try to push a little bit more damage here. Also, now our Varus is definitely leveled up. Alright, nice. Alright, so they are able to save their lease in, but they just got rid of two of their spell shields for that, which I feel like is probably worth it. Beware those who have nothing to lose. There is so much power in us. Alright, if we're lucky we'll be able to win this turn here. But we'll, we will have to see. Let's see, all of those are going to land on him. And then just in case they have some crazy strong units, we're actually going to buff him up even more. Right, so one issue. I know what we are. We're not gonna be able to win because they have unyielding. So we're gonna be able to pop that, but then they're still gonna have 30 health, which is gonna be a little rough. There's a price to pay. So we'll attack, and if they don't block with Mind Splitter, then our Varus might actually end up getting stunned, which again... Okay, good, they block with Mind Splitter. Oh, right, it... Did that not pop their Unyielding? I mean, it should have, because they... He didn't die and went up by one, but they should be at 30. That did no damage to their Nexus. I am... hmm. So I guess we'll use Furious Wielder to get rid of their Mind Splitter. Although we know what they're going to play Aurelian Soul. I think we actually just need to play some of our cheaper units because this is just going to get rid of one. It's not actually going to... The winter's claw we won't be able to do anything other than that, really. Enough stars. Now we forge destiny. A destiny born in star. Oh right, they don't have the attack token. So yeah, we I guess we'll attack like this to at least get rid of the Mind Splitter. Really not sure about... I feel like that was very bugged. The constellations bow to me! Because their Nexus took no damage. Friend. 
Alright, I think we should be fine. There is no forgiveness. A fight! I'll take everything. A fight! Yeah, we're gonna just try to avoid them and not have any lockers here. What good is mercy? But they do have a power that uh, silences our units, so if they have that, we're screwed. If they don't have that, then we're potentially fine. Alright, so we were able to win there, but that definitely bugged out. The Mind Splitter not dying, that is actually pretty common. That normally happens if your attack is going to trigger their revive, then yeah, it'll just stay at one health for some reason. I don't know if that's intended or bug, but that's been around for a while. They should have gone down to, well, we should have gotten rid of all their health, unyielding trigger, and then they'd be at 30 health, but instead their health didn't move at all. So, yep, I'm guessing that's just another one of the many bugs in Path of Champions. Well, for the Relic, uh, I think it's a lot better now, a lot more usable. Very nice that we can uh, play that before you had to wait a lot longer to be able to play that. So nice you can go for an earlier game plan. Good buff the Relic, not as crazy as the Guardian Angel buff, um, but also Redoubled Valor was in a better spot than Guardian Angel to begin with. So it makes sense that they don't need to buff it as much. Nice to see that they're tweaking and buffing up some of the weaker Relics. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, like and subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day.